Exercise is important for the body, but can require some care if you're at risk of hypos. If you take medication that can lead to hypoglycemia, you should check your blood glucose levels before, during and after exercise. People may respond in different ways to different types of exercise. Researchers have found that intensive exercise in people with type 1 diabetes can sometimes lead to an initial sharp rise in blood glucose levels. However, intensive and non-intensive exercise may often lead to low blood glucose levels in some people. It's important therefore to test your blood sugar levels at regular intervals. The Association of British Clinical Diabetologists Committee, ABCD, recommends testing blood glucose levels before exercise and once every 30 minutes during exercise. Physical activity increases the body's sensitivity to insulin for up to 48 hours and therefore it's recommended to check blood glucose levels regularly after exercising to prevent hypoglycemia occurring. As blood glucose levels can drop significantly during exercise, it's important to have a source of quick-acting carbohydrates such as glucose tablets close by. If your blood glucose levels are under 7 millimoles per litre, the ABCD recommend having 30 grams of carbohydrate before starting a significant amount of exercise. Hypos can happen overnight following exercise, so you may need to take carbohydrate before bed or reduce insulin doses to prevent this from happening. Consult your diabetes team for advice on avoiding hypoglycemia. If your blood glucose levels are above 12 millimoles per litre, it's advisable to test for ketones. If ketones are present, it's advisable to delay exercise until your blood glucose level returns to below 12 millimoles per litre or ketones are no longer present.